Guys, I'm back with more gun comparison videos, and this from close quarters is the Styrog. Yes, that's right, and it's Bullpup Edition for this comparison, and I also have a few new features. Oh, I had to get that last one off. Sorry about that. So the new features. Well, I got a few new camera angles. I got a new microphone so you can actually tell the difference between the in-game and the gun in real life. I think you're really going to enjoy this. Now, on to the Styrog. Styrog is an Austrian bullpup. It's chambered in 5.56 and it's used by a bunch of countries, namely Austria and Australia. What is a bullpup? A bullpup is simply a rifle that has the action behind the trigger. See, as you can see, I have my gun here with the magazine and the action behind the trigger. That's it. Now, what are the advantages of having a bullpup? Well, since the action is much farther to the rear, it means that the overall length of the rifle is going to be much smaller with the same size of barrel that you would have with a regular rifle. That means you can move around with it more easily and the recoil is more manageable. One of the big disadvantages with the Styrog as a bullpup is that it's very cumbersome to reload. Unlike other rifles, I have to lose my sight picture in order to reload the magazine. Because of this, just like in the game, it takes a while to reload. Despite the mag reloading issue, the Steyr AUG is in fact ambidextrous. You can make it a gun for left-handed shooters. I didn't make it in this situation, but that's okay. I wanted to keep it right-handed to get a better picture. This Steyr AUG is actually a US-made MSAR STG 556, which is a semi-automatic clone of the Steyr AUG. I'm rocking an EOTech 512, which is that holographic side on the front. I also have a flash hider and a vertical foregrip. While the AUG in-game has a foregrip as optional, most AUGs that you see do have an integrated vertical foregrip, as you see on the left. Now I just need to adjust that side a bit so I get a better picture, and then we'll put a few more rounds and call it a day. Most bullpups have a reputation for a terrible trigger, but I'll tell you, this trigger isn't so bad. It's a bit rough around the edges, but it's still a consistent pull, which is good in my book. Final verdict, fun gun. Oh, and I got more gun videos coming, so be sure to check them out. Until next time.